sweetness here by Ama Ata Edo. Chapter 7 A Gift from Somewhere A Gift from Somewhere relates Abuna Jiwe's early experience of childbirth and death. Abuna Jiwa has had her third child after two of them had died in their infancy. Her third child was also ill and emaciated, showing little hope of surviving. However, the arrival of a malam, Papa Kramu, one afternoon, reversed the near tragic fate of Jiwa. When by chance, the malam's visit to find food from poor Jiwa to eat became more or less a divine visitation from the god of Mbimu. Papa Kramo entered Abuna Jiwe's house and seeing the ailing baby on her back starts to behave like a medicine man, assuring her that her baby will not die. But just then, the baby's condition worsened. To maintain his dignity as a Muslim, he maintained that although the baby was on the verge of death, it will not die. To be able to escape before the baby died, even when he had not succeeded in getting any food from Abna Jewa, he prescribed some items to be used to save the baby's life. In addition to that, he told Abna Jewa to abstain from eating meat and fish from the sea on Fridays and Sundays. As she left for the prescribed items, the mother fled the village. When Abna Jewa returned, she could not find the malam who had escaped to avoid shame and embarrassment. Ironically, the dying baby began to recover. Abna Jewa had given up every hope and declared the baby dead. She was only waiting for people to return from their farms to bury it. Abuna Jewe's belief in spirit revived. It was perhaps a promise from the God of Mbimu, which had fulfilled through the Malam. She praised the God and her ancestors. She named her baby Kweku Nyamiche. Kweku because he was born on Wednesday, and Nyamiche because he was a gift from God. Kweku Nyamiche's survival ended her mother's woes of burying her children. After him, Abna Jiwa had other children to stop the impression that she was created to be pregnant for 9 of 12 months of every year. But have the children brought happiness that she needs in her marriage? People complain that she has spoiled her children. She does not have the happiness she wishes for in her marriage. She is her husband's first wife, but she laments. Something tells me it is his people and his wives who prevent him from having good thoughts about me and mine. Abna Jewa has observed that her husband disliked Nyamiche in particular, and instead of treating the children as his, he distances himself from them. For instance, he will say, Jiwa, your child is crying. Jiwa, your child is going to fall off the terrace if you do not pay more attention to him. Jiwa, your child is. Jiwa, your child that. Abna Jiwa remembers her husband once injured her while she tried to intervene when he was mishandling Kwekunya Miche for going to the river to visit his traps. She still remembers the scars on her arm. She thanked God and Nana Mbimu for saving Nyamiche. 
She is prepared to suffer on behalf of her children. She remembers what happened between her and Damalam.